I just want to say a big thank you to Russell from the Spread Eagle for playing as with beers all day. That's why we sound dreadful. Everyone's invited back there afterwards. Three beers, obviously.
Superb, and the uh, the celebrations aren't over yet because we have one more important task to uh, to do on this uh, stage, or indeed on the road in front of the stage, because we have some prizes to give away for the colouring competition. Now uh, I don't know who uh, took part in the colouring competition. Did you take part in the colouring competition? Did you? No, one did, one did. We've got uh, lots of entries, which you can see on the marquee, just on the other side of that lovely big white building. And, uh, and we have three winners, and we're going to be presenting those in just a moment. But uh, before we do, let's uh, bring on some uh, people that have actually made today happen. Without them, this wouldn't have happened. So, first of all, I'd like to welcome to, uh, to the stage the Chairman of Rayleigh Town Council, Councillor Carol Pavelin. Make some noise! The one with the chain. Look at that bling. Lovely. Carol, we've had the most fantastic day today. And I know you want to say a few words. We'll close the event after the competition. Oh, should we have the competition first? All right, yeah, let's do the competition first. Don't close okay. it too soon. We're hanging on for a few more minutes. We've got uh, Chairman of the Trinity Fair Committee. A very busy lady today. Councillor Cheryl. Now I'd also like to introduce two people who have uh, been instrumental in making it happen from uh, Haddon Events, Steve and Emma Cooper. Come up. Well done folks, it's been absolutely stunning, not just here but to all around Rayleigh. It's had a fabulous atmosphere, I hope you'll agree, whether you've been there. At the windmill or the tower, it's had a great feel. I think he's uh, already made himself known, but let's introduce him officially. Rayleigh's town crier, Jim Shrub! Ring that bell, Jim, ring that bell! And also, MP for Rayleigh, Mark Francois is here as well. Let's bring up Mark too. Who increased his majority somewhat, I think, the other day. Well done, Mark. Now we move on to the presentation of the Town Council's colouring competition. So, Steve, if you'd like to uh, introduce the winners. I will. And the prize is £25 gift vouchers to the three winners, who are... Make some noise for them. They're a bit nervous. So the louder you cheer, the better they'll feel. First, Lily Pyle. painted especially for today. Hello, Lily. Is that Lily. Congratulations, Lily. Well, let's have a look at your picture as well. If uh, Dad perhaps can hold up the picture. Here we are, look at this. Lily is just three years old, entering the under-12s colouring competition. And look at that, that is superb. Big smile, Lily. <laughs> Wonderful. 
and a voucher for £25 for Lily. Ooh. I don't know what Lily will be spending that on, but uh, well done Lily, there we are. And uh, our second winner, Jensen Hepburn! Come on Jensen! With a very neat colouring in job here I can see. Just four years old is Jensen. Our second winner again receiving £25. Bum, hold up the picture so we can all see it. Look at that. Now face the camera Jensen. Face the front. That's it. Big smile. Yay. Perfect. And our final £25 winner is Olivia O'Reilly. Olivia is seven years old. Well done, Olivia. Look at that. That is stunning. That is a work of art, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like a photo, doesn't it? Then why they're colouring in. Come up here, Lily. Uh, sorry, Olivia. Have your photo taken. And the official presentation of the of your prize, £25 voucher. Superb. Well done. Well done to our three winners. Give them all a big round of applause. Come on, round, round. And thank you to everybody who took part in the colouring competition. As I said, you can see all of the entries on the side of the marquee. So if you want to have a little look at that on your way home, then uh, you'll see what uh, a difficult job the judges had. Shall we smile for a photo? In a bit, in a bit, in a bit. Cheese, big smiles. There we go. Fantastic. Well done, lovely. Thank you very much, everybody. And now, as I said a few <laughs> moments ago, we have had the most wonderful afternoon. Bit of deja vu here. I think I said this a minute ago. We've had a fabulous day, though. We really have. So, just a few words. Yes, thank you. Has everybody enjoyed themselves? We have loved it. From Ian Wyatt and Steve Scruton, thank you so much for turning out today. You made our day very special, all of you. Really has been a fantastic return to the Trinity Fair. Let's do it all again next year. What do you think? <laughs> Let's hope so. And if you can't wait until then, we'll be back here on the stage with lots of live entertainment to switch on the Christmas lights. See, Can I'm you believe it? We're talking about Christmas. The 30th of November. We we'll look forward to seeing you there. But until then, have a safe journey home. Thank you so much for coming. Good afternoon. Bye.